millions of years ago in a galaxy most far away. A supernova of a dying star flings an uncountable number of charged particles across the universe. One of these charged particles has a destiny. A destiny that will one day intersect with the planet Earth, the country of Belgium, and the municipality of Sherbeek, Brussels. In the processor of an electronic voting machine, at the very instant it is counting the vote of a tightly contested election. This charged particle wrongly turns on a transistor in the voting machine's processor, changing this bit from a zero to a one, granting an additional 4,096 votes to the losing candidate. The universe has interfered with our sacred Belgian elections. God save us. Okay, that's enough with the narrator voice, I think. This story actually happened back in 2003, and it just about swung an election in Belgium to the wrong candidate. So, what happened? As it turns out, outer space has more than enough charged particles to go around, but most of these particles don't make it down to the surface of Earth, but when they do, they can interfere with electronics in pretty strange ways. What these charged particles do is called a bit flip, where it changes the state of a transistor from off to on or on to off. Let's take for instance the sheer beak voting machines. To count the votes, this machine is almost certainly using what's called an unsigned integer, which uses 32 binary bits to store every number from 0 to 4,294,967,295. Every one of the 32 bits that makes up an unsigned integer is equal to a very specific value, and every bit that you change to the value 1 adds that value to the total. Pay extra close attention to the 13th digit, 4096. This is how many votes were wrongfully added in the 2003 election. As this count was being made in the computer, a charged particle from outer space changed this bit from a 0 to a 1. This bit flip is sometimes known as a single event upset, or SEU for short. How did the election officials even find this error? In Belgium, the voting process involves a card that's given to each voter, and when the voter leaves after casting their ballot, they return the card, and that's used to keep track of how many people came through. And mysteriously, there were 4,096 additional votes cast than there were people. It wasn't until after a scrupulous review of the machine and its source code that the error was determined, and the additional votes were stricken from the record. Which was bad news for the candidate that they went to, because they ended up losing. But what should you do if you want to automatically detect when one of these bit flips occurs, be it by cosmic particles or woodland pixies? Probably the easiest thing that you could do is add what's called a parody bit. A parody bit is an additional bit that follows the string of bits that you're trying to send. An example of a parody bit would be even parody, which counts up how many ones there are in the data you're trying to send. And if there's an even number, the parity bit's a 1. If there's an odd number, the parity bit is a 0. Once the parity bit has been established, if there's a bit flip for any reason, the even or odd parity will no longer agree with the string of bits, so you'll know that an error has occurred. Parity bits are not perfect. There are still many things that can fool them, especially if the error occurred before you assigned the parity bit. The only way to be sure that your data is accurate is to use three parallel processors. Let's say you're cheapy McCheapskate and you only want to buy a single processor. That's okay, but if an error occurs, you'll just have to roll with the data that you get. If you have two processors running the exact same sequence of data in parallel, if an error occurs in one of them, you can see that the output of the two processes is different and know that an error has occurred, but you won't know which one the error occurred in. But if you have three processors and a bit flip occurs in one of them, you can trust the other two that are reporting the same value. 
Because what are the odds that two simultaneous bit flips would happen in two processors? And that's why voting machines use three parallel processors. And so do airplanes and space stations that receive a much higher dose of cosmic particles than we do down here on the ground. But if you still don't trust electronic voting, I don't blame you. I think I'll just stick with my method and throw my ballots directly into the river. Hi, thanks for watching! Yes, I know this Friday fact is coming out on a Saturday. Funny story about that, I tripped over a cord and accidentally broke the hard drive I was working off of. Whoops. So I may have had to re-record everything the night before. But enough of my personal problems. Remember, if you want to help pick next week's topic, all you have to do is start a political flame war in the comment section and win. See you there!